Hi, I'm Constable Ian Aho of the York Regional Police Marine Unit. So come winter time, we uh, typically go out on the snow machines and ATVs and patrol the lake, checking for uh, fishermen as well as recreational users of the lake and make sure they have all their documents and they're abiding by the laws. So what we have behind us is the uh, airboat named uh, Dewavin, and that's Ojibwe for hunter. The boat has a Chevy V8 engine, it's a 503 big block, produces lots of horsepower, don't know the exact, but uh, enough to get us across the ice, through the water and through broken ice. Uh, the boat is very tough, it has a polymer base which is three inches thick and can cut through the ice and uh, take a lot of abuse because as we all know ice is very rough on uh, anything that it hits. We usually deploy this machine to either rescue somebody that is crashed on a snow machine, fallen through the ice, or may have been in an accident and they can't make it to shore. It had happened within seconds. The ice breaking up around them, 26 souls, one only 12 years old, stranded. Powerful airboats rushed to the scene. All 26 were brought to shore to the relief of their families. Police had warned anglers the ice was too thin and to stay off. In the springtime and in the fall, uh, the ice is very thin. We try to get out as much media release as possible to warn people about the dangerous conditions of the ice. If you do decide to go out on the ice, check with local ice hot operators to make sure the ice is safe. In the event that you are going to go out, let somebody know. Always carry a cell phone and maybe put it in a Ziploc bag. So if you're gonna operate your snow machine, out on the lake, you know, it's quite open, but on the trails, as you can see in our setting right here, it's very compact. You have to be aware of other sledders and you should never drink and operate a snow machine. Operating a vehicle impaired is obviously very dangerous. On these machines, the danger factor goes up tenfold. You have trees that are close. The speed of these things is unbelievable. So if you're gonna be operating, operate sober and be cognizant of other people on the trails, stay to the right, have all your documentation, and have a good time, but just be very aware. You have to respect the speed of these machines because even the smallest uh, snow machine has a lot of speed and a lot of power. So if you decide to venture out onto the lake, uh, you might want to let some people know, family members or friends, just because a lot of times out on this lake, especially Lake Simcoe, uh, the winds are strong, the snow gusts can blow up really quickly and it, you can become very disoriented with where you are unless you can see land. The unexpected can happen. As we've seen today, an ATV fell through the ice and got stuck. Another case that we also seen was a snow machine caught on fire. If somebody doesn't know you're out and you get injured, you may be stranded out there. So it's very good to have a charged cell phone just to find your way to shore, know where you are, north, south, east and west and if you become uh, incapacitated or you're in danger you can always call 911 on your cell phone and we will be able to locate you and we will respond and come and give you a hand.